So, this is my first review of Bing Koontz. Now, I've read a couple of his books. This is my fifth book I've read from him. This is going to be my first review of him. I really like Bing Koontz. I think he's a very underrated writer. That's just me personally, because he was actually really popular, I think, during like the 80s and stuff with Stephen King, but he was overshadowing Bing Koontz. And I don't know, I've I'm five for five for his books. They're just really good. It's just awesome to read, honestly. But the review is going to be about The Face of Fear. It's a book that, on face value, I had no idea what I was reading. But I've noticed that Dean Koontz likes to write about a lot about cops. Murder mysteries. That's kind of his, like, forte is thriller murder mysteries. And the thing is, what he does is he does such a good job when he writes that every chapter at the end of every chapter it's kind of a cliffhanger and you're like i gotta read the next one so none of his books ever feel slow they're all fast paced and i kind of like that and he does a very good job at writing characters quickly to make you actually care about them so the face of fear does that and right off the get-go he has this guy named butcher and the butcher is someone who runs to a girl who is a stripper and he like kills her and he does other things to her that I'm not going to talk about on here but anyways so right off the get-go it just starts out like that's the first chapter and I'm like wow and that's how the tone starts pretty quick so I was like holy crap this is gonna be interesting and what happens is then you actually meet the main character his name's Graham and he actually reminds me of a book called The Dead Zone from Stephen King so Graham can sense things happening so he's like he's a psychic he has like psychic abilities so he can like sense what people look like or if they're gonna murder again stuff like that it's actually a really cool concept and it does remind me of a lot of the dead zone but it's not like the dead zone the dead zone's a little different i'll do a book review of the dead zone eventually but with graham he can sense like i said when things happen which is really interesting like they open up with him on a tv show talking about his psychic powers and of course the man that was doing the host was like can you actually do it like he was really really pushing hard on graham for all this and graham all of a sudden was like holy crap and in that time that's when the butcher was actually killing this girl he sensed it all and he's like her name's this but he's like there's something with Dwight. Like, he was trying to figure all this stuff out on live television. So it was really cool to, like, see that. And he goes a little bit more with Graham's backstory about how he's a mountain climber. Was a mountain climber. Sorry. But all in all, it was just really fun. It was, like, 300 pages in a mass paperback style. Because that's why I have, like, my mom gave me almost all of her Dean Koontz books. Because she bought them all online for Kindle. So she just gave me all for other books and I was like you know obviously I was cool with it reading it I, I really enjoyed it like I said it's fun fast paced and I didn't realize this but as a hardcover book it's like 200 pages like why would you not want to read something it's a very fun palate cleanser and this is the first book I read like right after the wheel of time and holy crap this was great <laughs> this book was great I mean I got nothing else to say about it it was fun quick and I don't want to spoil too much because I don't want you guys to not read it. <laughs> and it's such a short book, so I can't go into too deep of a explanation about it. But all in all, it was a great book. I highly recommend all you guys to check it out. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay hungry, and tell someone you love them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.